Hello there, this is Patricia from Pinky's World. Hope you all had a lovely Christmas. Um, my tutorial today is this cute box I made from my grandson whose birthday is this week. And I decided to do a wee punch art teddy bear. Um, I had just received the lovely um, ice cream set. This is, what, this is the papers I'm using. It comes in um, stamp. They are just absolutely beautiful they're coming in the new catalog so um if you fancy them please get them lollipops ice cream cones lovely watercolor blotches of melton melton lollipop spots i mean there's so much in there it's just beautiful beautiful paper and you could cut these out they're just they're lovely so i have gone with the lovely sprinkles lovely these sprinkles and this is the punch that comes with it um, I think I have the stump set somewhere. If I can find it. Where are you? Oh, so much stuff laying around here. Here it is. Now you can see this punches out with your punch and your comb punches out as well. And this is the wee decoration for the cone. These are the lollies, the lollipop sticks, sprinkled and lots and lots of sentiment. It is a beautiful set. So I have gone for the sweet with it and um, you get lovely um, sprinkly uh, things to make shaker cards, all in the matching colours. So it is, it's a beautiful set and I don't often buy a sweet but when I see one I really like, I do go for it. So as I was saying, I'm making a teddy bear and the punch that I've used is this because if you turn the cone upside down, you get a wee teddy bear. And I thought it worked perfectly for his head. So we're going to punch one of those. And we're using a nice pale grey uh, smoky slate to call it. So I just want the the wee head itself. So you need one of those. We'll do the wee bear first here. Just to show you how I created it. And if you're not interested in the box, you'll be able to scoot on. So for the head, you need one of those. Then you need one, two, three, four half inch circles. I've used the wee half inch punch for it. And they're going to be as paws. You need another wee half inch here. Well, not half inch. Slide your punch in and just cut what you need off it. I have cut less than half so that I can still see part of the ear on both sides. And a full half inch for his nose. And then for his legs, I have used another new punch. It's the double oval punch that comes with a nice matching stamp set. And we're just going to use this wee oval here. So we're going to need two of those all in the grey. And that's for his wee legs. So, <coughs> excuse me, the centre piece that I'm using for the uh, sentiment is from the Everyday Label Punch, which works out perfectly. So, punch one in your white and punch another one in the pool party. I've used pool party here because it matches in with these colours. And then we're cutting it in half. I'll show you when we're doing it. And I made a wee ducky bow for him. So we've got those, those. Um, I have some punched out here just to show you nice and quickly. So we have another one punched out in the blue and I'm just going to slice it up in half. And we're just sticking it so that we can see part of it, but line that up perfectly. Just didn't like the plain white against the nice paper. It was kind of lost. So we're just going to add a bit of tape pen to the back on both sides so that we can stick this. And just make sure that you line it up that there's no blue showing top and bottom. You don't need to go too far out, just a wee bit. Ugh. It's getting it to cover your blue is the hard part. So just stick that on, turn it over and do the same on the other side. No, oh, I didn't get quite where I wanted it. So don't press it until you're perfectly sure that it's the same as the other side and not showing the blue. That's about right. So when I put that on, I still didn't like that you didn't get blue at the bottom there. So I have another one cut and I'm just going to add it to the bottom and then trim it so that it fits nicely. So again, just put a bit of tape on 
and slide it on to be the same depth as you've left in other places and we're just going to trim it trim that a wee bit too much we'll put that one at the top and we'll do it better this time at the bottom see that the cut isn't right there so I need to really go to the other end of it and trim it a bit better. Take your time when you're trimming it. Don't be a mad one. I'm just gonna put that upside down again. Like me. That looks about right. Once you get it up to there, then you can trim it where you like. So cut it up to that wee point and then slip your scissors under. If you can. There, we did it. So that is going to sit under the wee teddy bear. So we'll want to put two wee feet, one um, at either side, and the wee bear is going to sit under like so. So we can actually put a wee tiny bit of sticking on him and line him up first. So just slip it under so that it's central and press it so it holds. Try and get it straight, Patricia. This pure bear is going to be dilapidated by the time I finish them, but I'm no good at rushing. So now we want to um, the circle for his nose, which is going to be a plain white one. So if you get a black pen, just do like a wee sort of do a triangle first, colour it in. And then just add a wee softness so that it's not completely triangular. If you want to add um, a bit of like a shine, use a, a white chalk pen to do that. It's entirely up to you. And each wee bear is going to look so individual. It just depends on your um, how you draw each part in, you know. So he has a wee bit of character compared to the other one. And to make that all match in with the blue, I'm just going to colour it in. I didn't want to draw it directly onto the blue. I wanted it slightly paler, but you could punch those out in the blue uh, pool party if you wanted. It's entirely up to you. So I'm just colouring the background in with the pool party pen, the light one. And just gives a wee lighter tone. And then we're just going to put a little um, dimensional on the back there. And stick that on in place. Whoops, not upside down. So just above as we neckline sort of and in the middle. Use the top part as your direction. And then with your pen, just do we divide that they would have the wee stitch line and then we're going to draw two eyes and there he is a wee bit of character so i have cut the two smaller halves not full halves just big enough to uh, set in the ears there without being too much you, you want to see a wee bit of the ear at the back on both you can't chop it down for a smaller semicircle if you like it's way bother who's going to notice you know it still looks pretty good Oops. and then again just go over those to take that stark whiteness away in the pale poo party or light poo party So he's coming on rightly. So the next is the two wee paws. So again, we need to add dimensionals to those. Just 
and well you could you could mark the pause before or after it's entirely up to yourself so you want these sort of coming slightly sort of touching his neck i think it looks best one on either side and again try and keep them fairly equal and with your pen just do three wee marks And that gives him his wee paws. And now you want to stamp your uh, sentiment. And I'm just going with black just so that it stands out. The pale, the pool party is a bit of a pale colour. And I wanted um, the sentiment to stand out a wee bit more. So I'm just going with Memento. And it's awesome at any age. Though it will do any age child. Any age child. I don't know why you'd give it to an adult or not. But you could fit Happy Birthday in there too. It's a good big space. Awesome at any age. And now, where are we now? We need his legs. So for the legs, as you know, I punch two ovals. And we just want to attach one. Again, just using your tape pen to save any mess. And just decide how long you want his wee legs to be. I think that's long enough. Same on the other one. And sort of cross them at the back there bring them out to the same sort of length and then two more legs or paws stuck or toes whatever you want to call them stuck on top of those in the same color just And don't go the whole way down, just sort of set them in there. It's a cute wee bear. I didn't want the bother of um, going with days. I wanted something quick, 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 just punch, punch and get it done. And I have no oval punches other than this one, which is a bit long for bodies and stuff. So I thought, cover his body and you've sorted that. So again, give him the wee marks on his feet. And there you have, he's such a cute wee bear, I think he's lovely, awesome at any age, he just needs a wee bow. So I'm using my bow tear and I've went in just to two marks and measured it and two marks, two on each side is just about the right size. So I've made the bow and when you're on the back just chop away, where's my scissors? Chop away that excess because we're trying to make a dicky bow rather than um, a ribbon, you know. So we want that excess away out of the way. So just chop it away. How many wee bits hanging over? Just try and get them off. And anything that doesn't go, use your sticky dot to, to grab it. So I'm just using the small sticky dots. Just popping it right on that center and hoping it catches. It did. And anything that you're not happy about, push it up into the sticky dot. Anything that you've cut away from that a bit of leftover ribbon, just stick it in there and it won't show on your dicky bow then. I think that looks okay. So we'll just pull that off and stick it in place. And it just perks them all up. He has such character, I think, a really cute wee bear. So that's for the top of your box. So now we need to make the box. Oh, I forgot to show you inside. I have put, <clears throat> excuse me, a wee pull strip. When you cut your box, you need 10 and 2 eighths by 8 and 2 eighths, which is the full size um, width of your A4 page in the UK, and then cut it down to 10 and 2 eighths. And that leaves you with this wee strip here, which you cut down to six inches and attach your three bags of um, wee mini buttons, chocolate buttons. And it just fits perfectly inside and perfect wee gift for a youngster. We all like to get some sort of sweets and that just slides right into your box. And when you're putting it in, push your sweets back 
against the back of the box so that that holds that out of your way so that when you're closing it it just closes perfectly and there you're left with a lovely wee box so for the box if you're not interested in the box then i'll say goodbye to you now if you want to make the box to suit your um chocolates then this is what you need oh, by the way that ribbon is called a uh, pool party sheer ribbon i'm not sure if it's still available it might well be just double check it so we're going with our pool party and it's the basic card is as i say 10 and 2 it's by 7 and, or 8 and 2 it's sorry and we're going to do our scores first and then i'll tell you the measurements of these so get your scoreboard and we're going to score the long side first and it needs to go at one inch Oops. one inch two inches eight and two eighths and nine and two eighths turn it round and score at one inch four inches five inches and eight inches so that leaves you just that wee quarter for joining your um join your box up so we're going to mark out just so that you know uh, what to cut away so we don't need this one we don't need this one and we don't need these two or these two and then down below we're just going to cut away this one this one this one this one and these two so you know what you're cutting away and that'll keep you right so just scoot on and cut all these away and we'll come back so that's all my bits and pieces cut away as you can see i have notched in each of them uh, notched into the holders the closures and give them a good score because you want your box to close down and stay down and if you don't give it a good score your bone folder it can pop up so we're going to cover them now the lovely cones on the other side but we're using the sprinkles again and i have cut all these pieces to measure two pieces at six inches by two and six eighths and for the wee ones inside here they are six inches long the same again by one no, by seven eighths sorry by seven eighths and then i've done two wee pieces for the top and bottom and they're um two and six eighths wide by one inch long no seven eighths <laughs> that seven eighths carries the whole way around i just haven't wrote that one down i'd need to add it uh that was an afterthought i wasn't going to do it and then i decided yes i will so stick those all in place just using a nice wet glue so that's them all covered up every bit ready so we want to turn this over and add a bit of glue to this i'm going to use the wet glue you could use your um red tape glue or whatever you have that's that's good and strong you want your box to be held together so just a wee ridge and just fold that over and make sure everything's lining up nicely and just swish it so that everything's looking good that's good so uh, this is going to be the back where that ridge has joined so this will be your front and down here we'll want to sort of stick that so that it holds nicely and your sweeties don't fall out the bottom so i'm adding a bit of glue to these bits these bits and to the outside of this no desk i might just use my my glue pen because I really don't want to um, make a mess but I do want that to hold so add a bit of glue there if you can pop those in this can be a wee bit tricky but it's best to do it now than regret it later 
So open that up and use your bone folder to push down those, making sure everything's square, that you're happy with the shape of it. And then go in where that wee bit was stuck to the side and just give it a wee rub. And that makes it nice and secure. Like so. So now we'll want to do our sweeties. I'm all sticky off that glue. So you've kept your wee bit that you cut off. It's six inches long. We are moving again. Let's see this. I must be losing my sticky off that. So get your three packets. It holds three packets. Or I've made it to hold three packets. And these come in packs of six. So that works out perfect too. You'll get two goes out of it. So what you want to do is get your um, glue dots. Where have you gone? I want to use the, the bigger ones. So just stick the glue dots onto the center of your sweets. Like so. And just add to about there. And just, whoops, again to the next one, and on to this one. So I'm going to go in with the last one so that I know it comes down to the bottom. So again, keep them all lined up if you can. And then this one is going to squeeze in between the two of them, about there. So that holds your three wee packets nicely, and that should just slip into your box now with a wee grip at the top so that they can pull it out easily. That should just slide in nicely. And there it is, nice and down, and just close up your box. And now you want to add your wee teddy bear. So on the back of that teddy bear, I am just going to put larger dimensionals to keep it all nice and tidy. Well, it gives it a wee bit of support as well to all those wee joins that you made. Oh, so sticky. And that's all you need. And just pop him in the middle. And if you're only given a couple of packets, just reduce the size of your box if you don't want to give a big box in. But either way, I think you're left with two gorgeous wee presents for a, a youngster, a toddler, a baby, you know. So, hope you like that and I hope you give it a wee go and I'll catch you. I'll have all the, I'll link to my blog and that'll have all the measurements if you didn't get them. So, just click on the link below and that'll take you over and catch you all again soon. Bye.